Out of the so-called suitcase murders in Walworth County, Steve Zellich is charged with hiding two corpses, made his first court appearance today. Sam Sotos joins us live from outside the Walworth County Courthouse. Sam? Well, in order to protect the public, the judge set bond at $1 million, but Steve Zelich's attorney tells me there is no threat to the public, and that is because he says that these deaths may have been accidental. From the Walworth County Jail, Steve Zelich listened as the district attorney told the court he worried Zelich, a former cop, was a threat to the public. Zelich is not charged with homicide, but investigators in Minnesota and in Kenosha are looking into whether he is a murderer. More charges are expected. He has confessed to causing the deaths of the two individuals uh, whose bodies he hid here in Walworth County. Uh, I believe that severity requires a severely high cash bond to ensure his appearance in court. The 52-year-old was arrested earlier this week. His West Allis home searched, evidence removed. Investigators say Zelich met two women on S&M websites and later killed them. One in a Rochester, Minnesota hotel, the other in Kenosha. Both police say were stuffed naked in suitcases and dumped on the side of the road in the town of Geneva. Investigators have identified the Minnesota victim as Laura Simonson. Police aren't totally sure who the other victim is. She was discovered with her hands bound behind her back. I'd say to them that we're, we're better served praying for the families of the victims at this point. Zalik's attorney says the deaths may have just been bondage gone too far, that the women may have died accidentally during a consensual sex act. Do you think there are other victims than these two? I wouldn't want to speculate. Zelich's attorney tells me that his client has been more than cooperative and that he spoke to investigators for hours. Now, there is no question that this case is just beginning. Uh, there is another hearing at this courthouse next week. Reporting live in Walworth County, Samara Sotis, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Sam.